don't believe that it's right now my eyes that are seeing this and I'm not looking at the picture. I think I'm gonna cry. I've heard that if you touch monuments that are built out of an act of love, then it brings good luck and you can wish for something. This was an act of love. If a guy doesn't build a Taj Mahal for you, don't date him. <laughs> Morning, friends. It's 5.40 a.m. and we just got ready for our sunrise mission to Taj Mahal. Yeah, we are ready to go. Five minute walk to get from our hostel, Joey's hostel, to the Taj Mahal. Morning. Good morning. So the guy in our hostel just told me that the stick from my GoPro might not be allowed. I mean, it's just a stick to hold the camera, but yeah, tripods apparently are not allowed in the Taj Mahal, and so are power banks. And now we have our five minute walk. Streets of India. I told myself not to walk outside in the night or when it's so dark. <laughs> and here we are. Hello, mom. Hello, dad. There's a few shops already open to sell people coffee and little snacks and stuff because obviously there's a lot of tourists going from this place because there's a lot of few homestays straight to the Taj Mahal so that's what they're prepared for. Sorry? Yeah, already. This is the entry line. Okay, thank you. So would you like to guide the Taj Mahal? We are the authorized person of the government. And uh, inside so many beautiful points, I click your photo in your mobile. And with me, no line. Fast and okay, I have sorry, a government yeah, license guide. Yeah, no, thank you. See. No, thank you. And now on the line to get inside the Taj Mahal, the tickets to get further down the street, but we already got them online, so we could go straight to this one. And there's already a lot of people waiting. It's now 5.45, I would say. Um, okay, friends, we are moving. And apparently this is the, where did I see it? The East Gate entry. So are there more entries than just this one? Now oh, we're having a security check. I really hope everything will be good. Eileen had to leave because of her tripod. Now she's walking there. I'm alone now and wait here for her. They said uh, if it has uh, three sticks, like you can use it as a tripod, then you have to bring it to the clock room or whatever, and then uh, you can pick it up later, hopefully, since it was a bit expensive. It would be nice. Friends, so they took my little camera holder for the GoPro away, but apparently I will get it back. I just deposited it in like a cloak room or something and the guy was really really nice so I'm pretty confident I will get it back but now I'm just holding the camera like this and now we're going inside and guys the Taj Mahal was built 400 years ago and I've seen it yesterday for sunset and the architecture looks insane and I have no idea how they were able to build something beautiful as that so long ago it's crazy but yeah now we went through security could keep your stuff and it's a little bit of a fighting because they go through your bag like in very very detail they check every single pocket if you have a camera bag with like 10 pockets they check every single one of them that's why it takes a little bit longer but now we are in and where's the touch mahal this one inside yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> inside. No. so now we have a guide because i was asking oh where's the touch mahal i mean obviously i know what it looks like but i couldn't see it and then yeah he told me it's a white building now i feel very stupid but yeah he's our guide now his name is bobby that's the guy and we just have to pay 100 each so that's like a euro outside it was 1000 together i think um but yeah Bobby is our man for the day. Yeah. Oh my god, so this is the gate. And you see the Taj Mahal, this looks so unreal. Now I feel like my eyes aren't working, but they are working. But they, oh my god. Hey guys, so apparently a few years ago you could take pictures here down at the water but now this is closed so you have to stand up there at the gate but we will go back later when the sun is rising a little bit more to get the nice light and now we're just walking towards the Taj Mahal and we have a lot of greenery around and then this beautiful big building this is like a writing script from the Quran he said so I'm gonna trust Bobby with that yeah this is so unreal guys I still don't believe that it's right now my eyes that are seeing this and I'm not looking at the picture that it's my own eyes I think I'm gonna cry I think we found our picture spot so apparently Leah was wrong it was not over there but 
here you have a platform where you can walk up. Wow, wow, wow. So you have to wait in line Looking either on the left side or on the right side. I was waiting please, here please. and then there was a girl in front of me telling the woman in the front to move a little bit to the right side otherwise she would crash the pictures yes. of all the people. And then I told her, yeah, good on you for saying that. And then she turned around and she's like, oh, I follow you on Instagram. I look, and the world is so small. I guess she's such a cute girl. I really hope she's messaging me on Instagram so I have her contact. Her name is Agnes. Agnes, if you see it, hello. It was really nice to meet you at the Taj Mahal. Waiting, it's like someone's coming from the left and it's on the right, so you take turns. And then take the picture here in the middle. Yeah, a little bit chaotic, but it works out. I am enjoying this place way too much. Like every single angle here is beautiful. We are stopping so much to take pictures and videos but guys this is a dream and here in the background you have the sunrise so i've heard from a few people is it really still worth to go visit the taj mahal for sunrise yes even with all the people here this is such an unbelievable magical place and if you come to india obviously you have to see the taj mahal and if you were thinking about planning a trip to india and see the taj mahal book the trip visit taj mahal it's gonna be amazing i think now we're walking to this gate over there so the entrance was there then we walked all the way here took a few pictures here and now we're walking around and apparently this is a really nice photo spot because then you have the view on the Taj Mahal with the sunrise in the back that's gonna be so nice We're checking the pictures right now. We're at this little gate here. You have the Taj Mahal in the background. Unfortunately, they closed off this one because apparently this is the mosque and a lot of people were recording TikToks there and stuff and they didn't like it, which I can totally understand because it had a really nice frame with a view on the Taj Mahal, very central. So I can understand that a lot of people and content creators use that for social media. Obviously, I understand that they closed this off because it just escalated a little bit. And also our tour guide said that if it's developing as it is right now, they might even close the entrance to the mausoleum to Taj Mahal in the future. I'm not sure, but it's just a guess from him because yeah, it's just a little bit too much hectic for a beautiful place like this. Yeah, our guide Bobby, he's leaving, he left us alone. Apparently he said, or he, I think he didn't mention it in the beginning that he's only our guide for one hour. So we paid two euros for an hour, which is not a lot, but still if we would have known that he would only be here for an hour, we would have used him more to interact. He's gone now, he's searching for another client, totally fine. And now we are walking around the Taj Mahal. And guys, still, it's only 7 a.m. It's very beautiful and you still find nice spots. So we walked around like 180 degrees and you can take really nice pictures here, which is amazing. And I'm so close right now. I'm not sure if it's allowed to touch the Taj Mahal, but I've heard that if you touch monuments that are built out of an act of love, like this one is, then it brings good luck and you can wish for something. And I think I'm gonna do that now. Okay, I cannot tell you what I wished for because then it won't come true. Using it to my YouTube video. Hello guys. And as I said before, we booked the tickets online. I can put the link in my description box below. And for foreigners, it's like 1,000, would be 1,100. So I think in Euro it was like 12 euros something, which is really not that bad for a monument like this. I was really surprised how cheap it was i thought i was calculating with like 50 euros or something because that's what they would charge in other countries for something as special and as beautiful as this so yeah not a bad price at all just make sure to pre-book online so you don't have to wait in the morning <laughs> outfit change number 10 or something so we are now about to enter not the temple area inside but like around and closer to the temple and we have to cover our feet now with some things like this and you can get them here for free yeah let's see i'll probably have to wash my feet after thank you Hello. Can I get for one to go inside? Yes. Thank you. I got my ticket because online I just got it for the general entrance, but I just switched my mind and decided if I'm here already, I have to go inside. It cost me 200, which is like two euro twenty cent. Good so decision. Like nothing to go inside, so you really have to do it. Yeah. So yeah, if you're online, you just put the general entrance ticket. You can still make sure to get this one here at this little ticket counter. So apparently, you don't only need the ticket to go inside inside the Taj Mahal, but also 
to this area so my friend Leah was left behind um, because she didn't get the ticket but she was already here 2019 and she went inside I'm gonna be by myself now and take a little trip around this area of Taj Mahal which looks super pretty so now I'm very close and then there you can go up super nice but also the sun is getting higher now so it's getting very hot I have my eyes closed like this as you can see I should probably put on some sunscreen as well and yeah my water's finished so this is like a with my sexy shoe covers. Not gonna lie, they're a little bit disgusting, but you gotta do what you gotta do. But one thing I don't understand, they have these one-time usage shoe covers. I don't know where they got them. I also want these. But yeah, I can film outside while I walk around here, but once you get inside, I cannot film because it's not allowed, but I will give you my impressions after I step back out. just got out from the inside of the temple and oh my god it's really 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 impressive basically what you do is you just walk in a circle around the mausoleum but it's only the replicate is that how you say it in english because the real grave i think it's more underneath and not available to see for tourists which i can also completely understand if i was laying there on my body i would also not want that people circle around me all day every day 365 days a year time to take these ones off Oh my god, my feet can breathe again. Yeah. Let's throw them in here. Ugh. Okay, what is, what is happening with my hair? I feel like I really need to wash my feet. Yeah, but really, really worth it, especially if it's only 200 and you're already here. Definitely, definitely go inside. As you can tell from my hair, photo time is over. And one more look at the beautiful Taj Mahal. And I don't know if I said it in the beginning, but it was made as an act of love for the third or fourth wife or something from, I don't know the name. But anyways, what I want to say is that this was an act of love and this should be the standard. So if a guy doesn't build a Taj Mahal for you, don't date him. Where's the exit? May I help you? No, 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 no. I don't like to be in pictures of the guys because I don't know what they post about it. I had a very bad experience before, so I just, so I just say no. Oh, they have parrots. Where do they come from? Hello, guys. Officially stepping out. Guess what? I forgot. I remember the second I stepped out. I forgot my tripod and we exited through the north gate and the entrance where I put it in the cloak room or security room is the east gate so we have to walk around because once you're out you're out and you cannot go back inside which I understand but yeah that's what we're gonna do now but anyways as I said before if you're thinking about visiting the Taj Mahal definitely do it it's best during sunrise because now it's around 8 it's getting very very hot so it's only getting worse from here or probably during sunset time would also be nice but I personally found sunrise very nice so be here early it's very magical and oh, can I breathe guys if you like this video then don't forget to give me a thumbs up because it makes me very happy it supports my channel a lot if you don't want to miss out on my future India vlogs then also make sure to subscribe to my channel and then I will hopefully see you guys in my next video Thanks, Sunday. Bye.